Okay, so here it is. Here's my setup. I actually use plates and I put these weird zoop, watercolor drops. I use the Dr. Martens. They're really strange. Like I make this grayish green red, mixing the green and the red. I always try to cross mix. But when it dries, it separates again, so you get this weird green and red, and it sort of does its own thing. That's it there, and you never know, it, it get, a lot of magic gets in there that way, if you ask me. This is an idea of like a strip, certain colors. These are kind of flesh colors here, I th and I got what combinations they are. I don't use it as much as I should. I just kind of start to see what's working, and here's the plates, and then they re-dry, and then I re-wet them. So they're Dr. Martin's dyes. Sometimes I get a color that I really like, but I can't remember. We can usually get close. So I'm going to try to set this up and slop some of this on there. I use two bowls, maybe clean water and dirty water, and just start slopping it in. Let me see. I'm going to try to set this up because I really kind of got to work. Let me see, this is gonna be difficult. I use wet on wet, so maybe it'll be dark here, you know. Wait, I just messed up. Uh, dark here. So I wet it first, right? And then, geez, I don't know, her hat's like, maybe, I had a teacher, he said start. You know, if you're not sure, you start kinda, start kinda light. So I grabbed a little purple, maybe. I'll just cool that down there. This is a nice color. I like got this greenish blue with a, and that's I think blue and black. Maybe I'll put that in there. I don't know. You wet it out. You see? Ah, shit, this is really hard to do and show you guys at the same time. I'm gonna try again here. That's nice, right? It's kind of. This brush is a crummy brush my daughter was using this morning, and I kind of like it. So, I'm, I'm liking this, so, I'm liking this color. I think, I think that's the blue and this black. That's this blue here, and this black over here. So, I'm going to try to mix up. Try to beef up the batch, you know, because it's running low. And wet, wet again, see? And you see it in the water. Put it over here. Plopping it there. And we're going to just doop, just let it kind of do its thing. Oh, see, that's too much. I'll take my finger and go on there. Maybe get in the water a little bit more. Just work real subtle if I'm if I'm scared. Once again, we'll wet this area out on the hair there. Real careful, and uh, let's start get to get the hair out. Right, I'm doing a little uh, perhaps the lips here. We got a little monkey here in the house. We got to keep an eye on. So this is this is a nice little thing. I like this. This one might be nice. Let's see. Ah, shucks. I keep taking this to poor guys are wanting to see. I got the camera in my hand. I'm having a really difficult time of it, honey. Uh, I kind of want to show like how I'm moving around to the different yeah. okay. colors and stuff. So I'll pick up a little blue. Let's see if this might get hot here. This this blue's real hot. So ooh, geez, too much. So I come in. Look at how hot that is, right? And we'll bring that out. This is the hardest watercolor I've ever done. When <laughs> I'm I'm doing it and looking through the camera at the same time. I don't think this is. Such a good idea. Back over here to our palette. Right underneath the hat's going to be a little darker, right guys? 
So we'll go boop. We'll let that sit there. Maybe early on, I know the star is going to be red, so put that in at the top. See, I got a hot. And it spilled over the line like that a little. I like that. I like a little. It's way too much water up here. Just, it's getting a little crazy. Just go like that. Who cares, right? Okay. This is like a peach color. I love this peach color right here. It's yellow and rose cathmarine. <laughs> and we're going to put it on the lips. I hope I don't mess this up. I'll put it down here. I'm working real slow here. That's nice. And I'll probably come back and but I just, I don't know, I guess I work kind of slow. Her thing is going to be this color, I know for sure. That's a really nice uh, flesh color. So we'll kind of take it easy there. And then I'll get it. That's a real hot red, right? That I'm going for here, a little bit of hot red. And I'll put that at the bottom of the tattoo. Doop. Just to bring out the form a little bit there. Around the eyes, I can't believe I'm doing it. Around the eyes. Around the nose. We got that. I think I'm gonna come in with some more of that rose cathmarine here. This is kind of a pretty it's kind of a pretty flesh tone. Very careful I'll work this because I'm getting a little bit at a time like that. Around the eyes is always a little redder, I guess. I might come back even blue, put blue. Denton Lund, the teacher, he told us, why is her face got to be flesh color? Make it, make it green or something. So he got us, he got me thinking about different alternatives to, and he also said this, like work slow if you're not sure. Like the first time you're, I'm going to take a chance and this chin, I just wiped the brush off of my pants. I wreck clothes. I think I've seen other artists who watercolor do, do the same thing, complain about wrecking, wrecking their outfits and stuff. So we'll go here and we're going to bring it in. Here's a, here we go. Careful. This is going to be... Ah! That's not bad. A little bit there. That's not bad. Wet, wet, wet. Got the arm here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh! I think it's bleeding through a little there. Back over here. Do, 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 do. Get a little of this. What do you think? Pow. We're going to hit that. Ah. Oh. That's like, oh, a little bit much in the shoulder. I'll just wipe it with my finger like that or something. This here. Boop, boop. And uh, that's kind of how I do it. We got nine minutes already on this thing. I'm going to stop and upload this one. And maybe we'll show you the finishing process soon as well. I'm going to upload it during the night. Okay? So thanks everybody.